Alrighty, well, if you liked Randy Johnson, the big unit, that's who we're going to be trying to look for today. 1989 Tops rookie cards being, ooh, Gary Sheffield as well. Let's see, we have, how many packs? We had 6, 12, 18, 24, plus 2, 26 total packs. So good chance that we're going to grab at least few of those or a couple of those other notable rookies going to be Greg Olson uh, Sandy Alomar Jr. Brady Anderson's one Dante Bichette Robin Ventura and Jim Abbott among others and then of course let's see how are these going to be set up looks like we're going to be looking for that glossy insert card maybe on these I'm not quite sure these packs have been kind of scattered and Received in many different variations. I don't think they're all from the same box. Yeah, no, of course, we're going to have our Hall of Famers among possible inserts. Greg Swindell, Ken Caminiti. I don't think that's his actual rookie. Uh, it might be first year tops. I'm not quite sure, but we'll put our notable players there and our rookies in the middle. Ron Gant, second year. He's deserving. Storm Davis. This obviously is not the tops traded, where you have every single traded, I guess, set is always good. Because this was, I believe, the first year with Griffey on tops. He didn't make the base. Of course, he was in the flagship. I guess I'm gonna just throw the trash and everything. Looks like we do have a record breaker today. Sorry, I'm throwing trash and garbage. Trying to aim, but got one of those cool tops. I don't know if I flipped these the right t-shirts, but I think we've already seen Carlos Quintana, Greg Swindell again. So we do have some type of similar sequence, a Gary Carter All-Star card. Greg, yeah, so we saw all this. They're just throwing some Alan Trammell and Greg, or did I say Greg Carter? Gary Carter, I don't know where that came from. Roger Clemens, the Rocket, getting snubbed of his Hall of Fame grace. So he's not gonna probably ever hit the Hall. I don't know. What? What's your guys' thought on that whole controversy and dilemma of all these PED users or not knowingly PED users? Either making it or not making it. I don't know. I, uh, I, me personally, I'm, I'm torn. I'm on the fence there. And um, I have a feeling though, they will get in eventually as the younger writers kind of push out the, the old timers. So it looks like I did a bad flip. I'm not quite sure if that was in the middle, but <laughs> let's try this way. Here we go. Thanks, tops. See if we can find some notable Cecil Fielder. Nice little gum stain on the back of that one. And a all-star of Andy Van Slyke. What do y'all think of 1980 Tops design? You think this design is up there with some of the better years? I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. It's kind of just land I suppose of course of course watch watch some good cards be in this it's always fun we have a record breakers of Palmer um, <laughs> who is that Jones Doug Jones some orange speckles Funny prints, put our inserts there. How many inserts I put on the far right? So let's do that. All right, continuing on, trying to find maybe a notable Hall of Famer. I'm not quite sure actually who we've already passed in that. I think my base pile is going to be 
extraordinary over there. I'm not quite sure how many cards. We have 15 packs or 15 cards per pack times. I'm not quite sure if you can run the math there. But hopefully I can... Is that another... No. Well, I can run through these quick enough. 26 times 15, whatever that be. There's another... Doug... What is his name? Jones? Record breaker. So we got two of those. I'd like to see some... Duplicate of rookies, of course. Bobby Valentine. Look at how young little Bobby is there. Managing the Rangers. It's kind of a cool card. Jack Clark. Moose. I don't know. Let's shake up our look over here and hit the right side. Whether it be the strong side or not remains to be seen. Kind of good looking gum, though. And it's probably not worth for me to eat it. All right. Dennis Eckersley. You're the A's and Giants back in 89. Fernando Venezuela had the World Series at Candlestick and the Earthquake hit. So... That was a fun time for me. I lived through that earthquake when I was, oh gosh, I wasn't was definitely in the single digits. I remember I was in our kitchen. We had a big, huge arcade game, Centipede, if you know the game. And I was like on a high, tall, like bar chair but it had rolling wheels on the bottom and as soon as that earthquake hit my first impression what it felt like was a big huge tractor took some change chains and just hooked them onto our house and dragged the whole house off its property that's what my because i've never been through an earthquake before so that was my actually uh lance johnson rookie car there that was my first thought of what was going on my young little mind what what i was thinking so been through some other very small earthquakes compared to that but that is definitely the very vivid memory even at a young age yeah that was wild we ran to the backyard we had a pool and the waves were coming out of the pool just crashing it was like half empty after the whole thing was done Pretty wild earthquakes. Kurt Manuering. Let's see what else we got here. Definitely not hitting Andre Dawson. Turn back the clock. Ooh, Brock. Kind of. Roger McDowell, Tom Candiotti. Little rhyming phrase there. Okay, let's see what else we got. Looking for rookies. Maybe I jinxed it. Gum, gum stains are kind of nice little Aussie. Never know which way these are going. All right. Who do we got? Who do we got? Where are we out on time? 8.44. Roll our Aussie into the all insert pile. Record break of Oral Hershizer. 88. Greg Swindell again, and another Gary Carter. That's just the second one. Is that the third one? I'm not quite sure. I guess these are actually uh, wax stains instead of. Where's the... Okay, we're going this way, I think. It'd be nice if we could still. I dig that one. That top right one. That, I mean, they're all pretty cool, but that one on the right is sweet. Sweet. Although it's probably from like Hanes or something. Doesn't have some official tops tag on it. But I guess it maybe has like the register logo. Jose Canseco All Star. And Lenny Dykstra. Nice big old Sean on his left cheek. 
Mike Fielder, Fred Crime Dog McGriff. Hopefully one day the committee gets him in. He's one of the many. I think they released the names recently. I think he's actually among them for the committee uh, this upcoming year. I think Will Clark. I don't know if they released the names, but they released potential names. My all-time favorite, Will Clark, I think, is also on that list among others. Andres, very young Andres Galarraga. Gosh, it's got to be, what, second year card or something like that? No, he's, he's in the league back in 85. Looks like he came. Whew. The big cat. Cool one. Brett Saberhagen. David Cohn. Craig Biggio, I believe, second year card. Yep. Back in his catcher days. I kind of forget. Very notable second baseman, but started as a catcher. Dale Strawberry. Another Dale Strawberry. Dale Strawberry pack. Ramon Martinez, I guess, is worthy of a rookie card pile. Bobby Bonilla, all star. And a Greg Jeffries? Who's this? No, that's. Who's the Gary Carter? The Mets. With a nice stain. So this is probably our best pack so far. Quite a a list of run or names there. And we're going this way. There's our third Doug. Oh gosh. Horrible with names, but he's coming. <laughs> Bob Welch, there he is. Is it Doug, what's his name? Should get it by now, Jones. Doug Jones, reliever out of Cleveland Indians. No longer the Indians for this upcoming year. If there is even a year, Mark Lewis. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Very, very interesting. I think we're almost about halfway. I think the pace I could probably pick up, but. Looking for Randy Johnson. I guess a Gary Sheffield. I don't think Gary Sheffield's gonna ever make the haul. I think he's got two more years of eligibility. Robbie Thompson. A little faded there. Got better condition ones. Tom Foley, man, these cards are really off center there. Yeah, Gary Sheffield's probably gonna get snubbed. Dave Parker was a de decent name back then. Let's go back to the right side. Man, some of this rat wax is really bleeding. Really bleeding. Okay, okay, okay. I just love, there's Brady Anderson. Rookie card of Brady Anderson, a little off to the right. But crisp, crisp card. Don Zimmer with some kind of funny streak going down in the middle of his face. This card get creased. Uh, it's just probably some stain. Notable name, I guess I can. Mickey Tendleton was a decently notable name, along with Kirk Gibson for that exact team, and that's about it. Let's see, Jim Morgan, uh, Eric Davis, those bright white Cincinnati Reds unis. Go on to win the ship the following year. And, sorry, my dog is, how about this sweet looking hat? You know people have those just lying around, they got you. Gotta have them. There it is. There's the one card we 
Probably the number one card, even though it is a pitcher. It's going to be your prime card. Looking pretty good. This is Expos Uni. Top Straighted has him in his Seattle Uni. So, Randy Johnson, rookie card. I traded him and had no clue what he would turn into. Took him several years over in Seattle to get it figured out. It's probably still grown into his gargantuan body. So, I don't blame him. But happy to find at least one of his rookie cards. If we can find any others. All the better. But it's just fun more so to rip some old junk wax. Get it off the street. <laughs> if there's anything of worthy sending in. Once I guess uh, there's that similar sequence. Once grading prices go down. But it's just fun to rip anything, really. Definitely. Willie Ainsley. Some kind of like bulldog mascot in the background there. Alright, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Guess we could find maybe a Sheffield. See, who else are we missing? Here's that shirt again. Another Lance Johnson rookie card. Which way are we going? We're going. Is that a rookie? I saw R. I haven't really seen any notable Hall of Famer. Speaking of the one cards we have seen plenty of. Sorry, I was moving this, the base stack. They're getting pretty, pretty tall. Wally Joyner was a notable name. Dennis Martinez. Some pretty good years. There it is, Ricky Henderson. The Yankees. I think this is the year he got traded over the A's. Which probably was in the traded set in Oakland Uni. Okay. That's even out these stacks, we all are down to two each up there. Eight more packs. Find greatness. Find greatness. Trying to find that cut card, but was eluding me, and now everything is wonky. All right. They're a little off. We'll, we'll work it out. Very strong reliever John Franco. Rex Huller Company Store. There's another Daryl Strawberry. Same sequence. Same sequence. We've seen it. A lot of Bobby Bonilla All Star cards. There's that Gary Carter card as well. Okay. Start trimming the, the fat up here where there's, I guess, no more meat left. So, we do have a Donnie Baseball. That's pretty sweet, we found that. One of our notable common names. But, nothing else really. I mean, there is, but nothing of a Major, oh, there's, you know, one of the greats type status. But, geez, that gum had mold. That gum definitely had mold. Which way is going? Am I going right? Going wrong? Now we're going right. All right. Try to speed this up. Dave Rigetti. Another Donnie Baseball. Okay. Greg Jeffries rookie card. I believe. Or I don't know if it's his rookie. Hmm. 
Maybe first top card. Chris Brown. I don't think my dog on the other side of my door realizes I'm doing a video. I don't know if you can hear that squeaky toys, but it's getting real bookshish. Okay, where's which way are we going? I think we're going. Yep. Okay. Zipping on through Eddie Murray. Dave Rigetti. So that's, we did see that Dave Rigetti, but we didn't see an Eddie Murray. Front. Matt Williams. Wow, he looks so young. I love it. I love it. I won't look too hard at it, but he was one of my favorites. But Will Clark definitely is it. Off to the PC he goes. We have a Wade Boggs record breaker. Hmm. It's a new one. Tommy John. Probably heard of that name before. That's where it comes from. All right. And then there were five, including this one. Where's the split? There's this. Oh, we, I just saw what we were also looking for. So we have another hit in a sense in this pack. What the heck? I think I just found two of the same. We have a Gary Sheffield rookie card. And I thought I saw another one. Gagne. Or unless I put it in the wrong spot. Tony Fernandez. I guess maybe that was it. Okay, my mistake. But yeah, that, was, that threw me off. I thought, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to how I was splitting those two packs. But that's the Gary Sheffield that we were looking for. And. Another Tony Fernandez, so that's maybe good to see, but I'm not quite sure how these packs are all set up now. Don Baylor, Sparky Anderson, Wade Boggs All-Star, Dan Quinsbury, very <laughs> unique name there. So we did see some of these cards. Another Fernando Valenzuela. Valenzuela. Can't speak always. A high leg kick for the Dodgers. And so these cards are thinking we'll just roll this way. We get a checklist card for the first time. Another Brady Anderson rookie. Now we're talking. Another that Don Zimmer. So, similar sequence, Mickey Tendleton, Kirk Gibson. We've seen pretty much all these cards. It's that baseball. My dog's trying to rip through my door, I think. I don't think he either got the ball stuck with Jim Leland. I don't know how loud it is on the camera, but it's relatively loud for me. I think, I think Oakley needs some attention. You hear him gnawing on something. There's Bobby Witt Jr.'s dad, Bobby Witt Sr., Earl Hershizer, so we're getting some new cards here. It's good to see. It's like, this isn't a traded set, is it? <laughs> it's throwing me off. Okay. Norm Charlton, Mookie Wilson. What a bunk. Bunk pack there. Final pack. We've hit the end of the railroad. Thank you for joining me if you are still alive after watching this video. Give you an idea of 1989 Tops packs. And what to expect. We did get pretty much, I guess. And we, we had to open 26 packs to get one Randy Johnson. That's rather extensive. Another Andre Dawson checklist card. Another Lou Brock turn back the clock. And 
that's probably going to be it, which it is. So thank you so much if you are still breathing and made it to the end. I will probably try to fit maybe a football video in between the middle of this upcoming week. If you have missed and you are watching this in real time and not 100 years down the road, I do have a giveaway in the last video. And it's for a hanger box of 2021 Topps Chrome. So go check that video out. Comment in that video if you would like to win that. We'll be picking a winner in about two, I don't know, four or five days from here. Take care. Thanks again. Catch you next time.